they, they should have been no Lord Shedding. Lord Shedding was started deliberately mm -hmm. by people who wanted to do business in their own way. Mm -hmm. And I got to know about it and I stopped it. And I brought people who could act and stop it. And they stopped it. And I made a statement then that there will never be Lord Shedding. And there was supposed to be no Lord Shedding up to now. Mm -hmm. I had stopped that, and I've made a statement it will never be there. It was not going to be there. What they did, they chased the people who were doing this, removed them from those companies, actually wanted to arrest them. This electricity crisis that is engulfing our country at this moment, we will overcome it just as we overcame the apartheid challenge. Uh, the load shedding uh, before the end of the year yeah. should have been something of the past. Serious? Yes. Load shedding by the end of this year by will be something end, of the by past. End of this Here are the problems that are facing the ANC. It's the habit of telling lies. Over the years, there's been some discussions about introducing competitors to, to ESCOM. And uh, it, uh, in many parts of the world, you do have these independent power producers. Uh, I don't know at this stage as to what, uh, how competitive. And in fact, uh, the information I received in the past was that because ESCOM was so cheap, uh, it was unattractive for independent power producers to enter into the market. But uh, we have to look at, uh, at the cost of electricity and, and uh, mitigate those, those expenses as best we can, and we will do that. Record it, not a problem. <laughs> I want you to say it, to come from <laughs> your, your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What I was saying, that what you need is to talk about the issues that we are able to undertake and do if we talk to people. Because there has been a lot of people talking about promises. We do everything, we do this one, we do that one. <clears throat> and yet, at the end, it is nothing to us just because they wanted to make people feel this one will do it. Okay. And there's a lot of uh, parties that say that and they will never do anything. Even those who, who know, they will never even win half a dozen kind of people. Yeah. But that's what they say. What we need is to say things that we are going to be capable of making. And we need to begin with the small ones. Yes. And be able to say, here it is, as she was saying, let us say, wherever human beings are, there must be toilets that are working. Mm -hmm. And we must do it. And it's not impossible to do so. So that people can see this is being done to change the quality of lives of our people. We can't have, for an example, in the cities like Durban, whether it's Durban or Johannesburg, you have what you call informal settlements. But you are in, in cities that are supposed to be developing. Mm. And there is no development there. In fact, there are more informal settlements being built in very terrible places Correct. where if it is raining, they are all gone mm. Mm. and many people die. Mm. We must be able to say, change this. For an example, in my view, we need to change the townships type of things and remove part of the bigger township, open the space, have the flats clean and good that will service people where there's electricity. The MK, will that be your priority to Absolutely. end load shedding? Absolutely. And they would never, and there they should have been no load shedding. Load shedding was started deliberately. Mm -hmm. by people who wanted to do business in their own way. Mm -hmm. And I got to know about it, and I stopped it. And I brought people who could 
act and stop it. And they stopped it. And I made a statement then that there will never be Lord shedding. And there was supposed to be no Lord shedding up to now. The, pe the people who came back, they wanted it. Because, as people say, they, 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 they did not want it to use the things we are using for their own businesses. So they wanted to use the kind of business that is going to grow their companies. Yeah. That is what has happened. <laughs> I had stopped that, and I've made a statement it will never be there. It was not going to be there. What they did, they chased the people who were doing this, removed them from those companies, actually wanted to arrest them. Sure. So, under MK, will that be your priority to Absolutely. end load shedding? Absolutely. And they would never, and they, sh they should have been no load shedding. Load shedding was started deliberately mm -hmm. by people who wanted to do business in their own way. Mm -hmm. And I got to know about it, and I stopped it. And I brought people who could act and stop it, and they stopped it. And I made a statement then that there will never be load shedding. Mm -hmm. And there was supposed to be no load shedding up to now. Mm -hmm. the, the people who came back, they wanted it because... As people say, they, 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 they did not want to use the things we are using for their own businesses. So they wanted to use the kind of business that is going to grow their companies. Yeah. That is what has happened. Mm -hmm. I had stopped that, and I've made a statement it will never be there. It was not going to be there. What they did, they chased the people who were doing this, removed them from those companies, actually wanted to arrest them. Sure. Yes, yeah, Zuma has started doing the right things, right? He promised us, one, when he got arrested, he promised that he was going to expose certain people. Two, when he announced Mkonto with Sizwe, he said that, you know what, um, um, 2023 was just about announcing Mkonto with Sizwe, but 2024, I am going to answer a lot of questions, and I'm going to reveal more truth. Then when he was at um, the, the memorial service of Mabeda, he said that, he was going to expose certain people, I remember, vividly. So I spoke about it and I was like, huh, I know Jacob Zuma, he keeps, he keeps saying that, but he has never exposed people. But now I think he, he had me and he was like, okay, Bongs, I'm going to show you that, you know what, I mean business when I say I'm going to expose people. He starts with the issue of your load shedding and then he goes deeper and says, listen, load shedding is deliberate. And for... A moment I get to think of it and I was like, wait a minute, that's true. Load shedding is intentional. Load shedding is self-design. Because we've got enough capacity to, look, to supply electricity in this country. If you don't believe me, go and do your research. We've got enough capacity. We can run all the general, look, we, we can supply electricity to each and every single member of local or single citizen in this country. Every house will have electricity 24 hours. And then we will still have reserves, right? It is proven. It's a fact, right? And uh, that, that, that information is on public. You can just go and look at that information. Even Guatemantash at some point, he did allude on the fact that we've got enough electricity in this country, but for some strange reasons, we've got a load shedding. So what Zuma had said that, no, 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 this is deliberate effort. It just makes a lot of sense that there are people who are benefiting from the crisis your load shedding. Well, I do not want to benefit unduly to your participation, but I know for a fact that I want to benefit in the right way. The best and the free way for me to benefit from you, it is for you to subscribe, like the video, comment in the comment section below, watch the video until the end, watch the ads, and share this video to more people. We need to get this video to 100,000 uh, views. And we need to push the channel. We need to keep subscribing. We need to break the records. All right, guys. Thank you very much. We've been doing great in terms of subscribing. We've been doing great in terms of subscribing. Wow. I just cannot wait to see this channel. Man. I started this channel on the 22nd of uh, December. And already, oh, as of me now, I can tell you that we're already on 10,000 subscribers. And I can tell you this, that uh, I want to see what by the end of, by the time we, we look, we get our birthday, isn't like when this channel turns one, one month, 
old, how far are we gonna be in terms of that? So let's subscribe. Let's push this channel to 50,000 subscribers, right? And we can't do it. Now let's go back to the issue of elo cheating. Now, so we have a person whose name is Ukwete Mantashi. I remember he had an interview. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was on Newsroom Africa. He spoke about the fact that there is in look, there is some sort of res reserves that we have after supplying low trading. So I, I forgot the number they're on, but he was like, "We can do better. We can have a low trading." Let me remind you as well. Now, speaking of what Jacob Zuma said, right? That this is just deliberate effort. Go now to what Andre Durant said. The former S look, uh, SCOM CEO, didn't he alluded on corruption and the people being intentional about destroying SCOM, people governing SCOM and some of the people that were involved there are politicians, right? So now you get to see that, oh, so Andrew Derek was actually right when he spoke about government and politicians interfering at ESCO, making sure that things are not operating or are running as they should. So it's called um, order out of chaos. If you don't know, it's called new world order, where you find things uh, being uh, fully functional and you distract the process. It then gets chaotic and then after that, you reinstate it, you bring a new order, right? That's why it's called the new world order. So that, that is happening in different um, different stages in life. It is happening in terms of education. As of now, things are happening in education. Oh, in, like, in a lot of things there, you find that things were, were running well, then it, it, it was disrupted, then they bring it, somebody will come and build it and bring a new order. That's exactly what we're talking about. Now, Without dwelling much on the concept of a new world order, because a new world order also it is linked to Ibaibel, right? It is uh, uh, other people know know it as Imak of the Beast. That it, that is the the same concept, a new world order. I don't wanna dive into it one day. Where if you guys are interested, I will unpack the concept of a new world order and how politicians are bringing a new world order. Uh huh. That's one of the interesting. Uh, subject to study but one of the things that are happening in that process is that companies get destroyed one of the things that are happening or uh, that are happening in that one everything that just just the everything that is functioning it get uh, distracted on purpose so it can just um, you know just get into a chaotic state and then they bring a new an order so that's what we have seen with the likes of Abu Ramaphosa, where Abu Ramaphosa, they just found ESCOM uh, functioning, and we didn't have this West low trading that we enjoy. Now, now Abu Figil and Balula, they were lying just December time, 2023 December, Abu Figil and Balula were heard saying, ESCOM low trading is a thing of a past. Guess what? Low trading is a thing of a present, right? Abu Ramaphosa says, nah, we are probably going to have low trading back in the mid, 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 uh, mid, uh, this month, mid, um, mid January, 2nd of January, low trading is back. Uh, not long ago, Ramaphosa was agitated over the fact that there's low trading in this country. He looked angry that there was low trading in this country only to find, only to find, only to find that, no, the man, actually knows what is actually happening at ESCOM. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we have seen them pretending to be on our side because we are the ones that are lamenting. Even now, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I was going to have those slides anyway. But now we have to buy the backup and all the stuff just because it is so difficult to work under these uh, conditions, yellow trading, that we you know, it, 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 is, it is imposed on us. Yeah, speaking about it, I, wanna, I want you guys to tell me about the revelation that I've just brought to you to say low trading was it's something that was done intentionally. It's a deliberate effort. What's your take about everything that I've just shared or the truth that or the dark secret that have been revealed in this video? This video can go as far as um, revealing even more things, but at this particular juncture, I think to I think to myself, you know what? I'm not gonna explore that. Let me just not go there for at least for now. But yeah. 
get into the comment section below when tell me what you think about everything that i said there's one thing that i know and that thing is i'm gonna continue doing a research so i'm gonna end this video here with an intention of going to do more research that's the reason i'm gonna end this video here what's gonna be your uh, participation in all of this is that you get to subscribe like the video and comment in the comment section below share this video and the reason you need to subscribe click the notification bell you need to do it because doing it guys it does help out a lot and also you will be notified every time when i post you will be the first to be notified because we're gonna be, we're gonna keep doing more and more and more and more of research speaking about the research before i close this video guys i am uh, hard at work trying to find uh, th something to do right i'm hard at work trying to find not something to do but trying to find a research about ramaphosa the things that he has done for this country it's very very difficult and if any of you guys have got any information concerning that kindly share guys please i need that information uh, i just want to know the things that ramaphosa has done for south africa in his first term as the president of this country guys i'll see you guys on the next video but until that next video good people please take care